I have created 795 images from 8 different AI image generators to compare them, so you don't have to. For the last 2 days, I have been experimenting with 8 platforms in 5 different categories with the same prompt for this comparison. I had one primary rule for this challenge, maximum 5 generations for each platform with the same prompt to create a baseline for the comparison and test out what you can get quickly in a short amount of time. We will see the final images with the same prompt all together to compare and pick the best ones. I have put all of them together into this mood board and marked the one I like the most for each one so you can easily compare them yourself. I will share all the tables, images and resources at the end of the video. So let's hit generate. These are all of the prompts I'm going to use so if you want you can pause the video to check them or you can find them in the link down below. So I will generate images in five different categories architectural facade interior design, product design, character portrait and creative abstract image. First, I started with Midjourney and use version 5.1 with various level of styles. Midjourney is the most popular one at the moment without any doubt and I totally understand why. Overall image quality and the quality of compositions are really outstanding. But the thing I like the most is the ability to use it as a new way of sketching. Because you can start with a simple prompt and create alternatives on top of it by adding new keywords. Or we can add images as a reference and blend different styles together to create something new. Midjourney doesn't provide free trials anymore. So if you want to use it, the cheapest subscription tiers starts from $10 a month but I suggest going with the middle tier for unlimited generations. The second platform I used was Blue Willow which is mostly mentioned as the free version of Midjourney because you can generate 10 images per day for free. However, if you want to access version 4, you need to subscribe to one of the premium plans. You can join the cheapest tier for $5 a month and get 50 generations per day. I think there is a considerable difference between version 3 and version 4. All of the images you will see in the table are generated with version 4. Blue Willow is also working on the Discord server like Midjourney and you can edit to your own server. As a downside, there is no gallery view or any way to access all of your images anywhere other than the Discord server. Leonardo AI is one of the new kits in the game, but it is very promising. I tested it out for the first time with this video because it requires early access at the moment. I applied it to a couple of months ago and received my invitation after a month or two. From the invite, I created my account on their website. The user interface is very clean and easy to navigate around. It is running on stable diffusion, but they have trained many custom models for different styles. In addition to that, you can train your own models easily just by uploading your images. You can share your custom models and access others custom models too, which is really cool. I have tested out with a couple of the most popular models on the platform and I will pick the best one for each category from them. If you want to see all of them, you can check from the board. And it is practically free because you receive 150 tokens every day which you can generate around 100 images depending on the settings you use. Leonardo AI has almost all the features you can ever imagine in an image generation platform like text to image, image to image, control node extensions, in painting, out painting and three different image upscalers. You can see the difference between the original and upscaled version in this picture. So completely recommended to give it a try and join the waiting list if you haven't already. Our fourth competitor is Delhi. If you don't know Delhi, is one of the early text to image models created by OpenAI. This is the second version of Delhi. It has a very simple user interface. Just type your text and hit generate because there are no settings or parameters you can adjust. When you first sign up for the first month, you receive 50 credits which are equal to 50 generations and in the later months this decreased to 15 per month. I think many people were only using Delhi for its outpainting feature to extend their image and add more context around it. But with the new tools like Photoshop Generative Fill, I don't think it is the first choice for outpainting anymore. I don't want to give too much spoiler, but I think you can already sense the quality difference compared to the previous examples. After Delhi 2, we have its big brother, 
Bing Image Creator. As you can see, it is powered by Delhi model, but through Bing, you can access the updated version of Delhi. And as you can tell directly from the first image, there is a huge difference between them. And weirdly, it is completely free. Similar to Delhi, you can access your recent jobs on the right side. At the moment, it only provides text to image, so it is not possible to in or out paint. Adobe Firefly is one of the new options we have. They launched the beta version in March this year. Currently, it is still in the closed beta version. You need to apply to gain access to it. And you can use it with no additional cost to an Adobe subscription. This is the one I am most excited about, both because they announced a crazy amount of features in addition text to image like these ones, and because of the integration possibilities with existing Adobe softwares. They have already started to integrate it into Photoshop, so if you don't have access to Firefly yet, you can just download the Photoshop beta version and start using it. You can learn more about that in this video. The user interface is very clean and works smoothly. There are tons of ready parameters for aspect ratio, content type, style, color tones, lighting and compositions. So it is relatively easier to create your prompt. The only thing I don't like is there is no gallery view to see your previous generations. So if you forget to download or save an image, it is gone for good, but I'm sure they will add this feature very soon. Our seventh platform is Dream Studio. It is the official platform of Stability AI, which is the developer of Stable Diffusion. They also have a token based pricing system. When you first create an account, you receive 100 free credits, which you can generate around 500 images with default settings. There are three main models you can choose from at the moment, and I want to test it out with SDX large model instead of 2.1 version because this model is the latest training one, and right now it is only available through Dream Studio. It is pretty fast and easy to use compared to the local version and there are reddit style presets you can choose from in addition to the text description and last but not least i will test it out with stable diffusion running locally on my device with one of my favorite models realistic vision version 2.0 Compare all the previous platforms, this is the most complex option for a beginner, but it is the one with the most control and customizable options. Because it is open source, you can find hundreds of amazing extensions and developments launching every day from the community. I had to wait the most for this one because I have generated all the images 1 to 1 square ratio with 10 to 24 to 10 to 24 pixel size for better comparison. Of course it depends on your computer, but for me generating 100 images in total took around 2-3 hours, but it is completely free and you don't need internet access to use it. I have put all of them together in this mood board and marked the one I like the most for each generation, so you can easily see and compare them yourself. You can find the link for this board in the the video description together with this table of comparison which you can see the points for each platform and category. Don't forget to check it to see all the images because there is no way I can show all of them here and let me know which one is your favorite one. None of the images you will see are edited or upscaled in any way. I just try to pick the best images from each category. For architectural facade images, Blue Below, Dream Studio and Delhi were the worst ones for me. My reactions and opinions are based on the images we see. I'm not saying that you cannot get anything good from them, but just sharing the results of my experiment, so please keep that in mind. My favorite ones are Mid Journey and Bing for overall composition and relevance to my prompt. The prompt for interior design was rather a classical or very popular style and that's why all of the images and their vibes were really close to each other. There was kid walking away phrase in my prompt and Blue Below Dream Studio, Leonardo AI and Stable Diffusion completely ignored it. Actually I couldn't even generate this prompt in Leonardo AI at first because it contain the kit keyword but then I adjust it to be able to generate it. In Delhi we have a lovely flying basket but this category was probably the best one for Delhi. Overall I really like this arc window and other timber details in mid journey along with the high contrast image with a darker color palette and these large plants with a high ceiling design from Leonardo AI. 
In the product design, the main goal in my head was to create an inspirational material and a mood board for a complex lighting design. So I wanted to focus more on the creativity factor rather than the overall image quality and composition. It was super hard to choose one image from my journey for this one because almost all of them were really cool. Bing and Delhi was a bit too much creative and more abstract but I kinda like them too. For character portraits, the results were absolutely amazing for me journey and blue willow other firefly was also nice if you are going for that style because it went a bit too cartoonish and there were some really creepy ones from realistic vision and it was super hard to choose one image for our last category except delhi and bing i was amazed by leonard the ai and blue willow in this category because almost all of the images are really stunning Leonardo again had this high contrast and dark theme which I really liked. Unlike all the other ones, Realistic Vision created a more photorealistic scene with all the neon light mushrooms and the path leading away. So cool. We can find the link for this board in the video description together with this table of comparison of the 8 different platforms. And don't forget to check it to see the rest of the images. I hope you liked this experiment. Please let me know which platform was your favorite one and what do you think about these image generators. I hope you liked this video. In the next one I will share how I reimagined famous buildings of architects like Zahadid and Frank Gehry based on their initial sketches using AI. See you there.